Welcome to Dan. I'm David Stjernholm and you're listening to the weekly podcast from Stjernholm Consulting on how to create good structure, how to simplify and get more time at your disposal, personally and in your organization. Have you also from time to time experienced that the things just waiting to be done are in a real mess and you need to get a good overview to sort out what needs to be prioritized and what are the next steps? It might be needed in some area for you individually or for your entire business. Here's a quick and efficient method used successfully by both myself and several of my clients. Do like this. Take an empty piece of paper and place it on the table. If the situation concerns the entire business, get together with your management team or a few key people and get yourselves in front of a whiteboard, giving you more space to work with. Wherever it first strikes you to, write the name of the first project, the first area or the first to-do task that comes to mind on the surface. Now, write the next, the next and the next name wherever you feel they fit in on the board or on the piece of paper until you are all out of things to write down. You don't need to make an effort to make it look nice, but rather try to make the arrangement of the words represent how the projects look to your mind's eye. Now all the balls which were previously in the air are on the board. Grab a red marker and circle or draw an irregular shape around the projects or areas which need your immediate attention and let the shape and size of the circle represent how much space they are occupying in your mind. Now, get a blue pen and circle, or draw another shape if you prefer, the areas which are important but not absolutely urgent. Again, illustrating how much space they are occupying and attention they are demanding. Also, get yourself a green pen and circle the remaining projects in the same way. Now, You have transferred all those flying balls out of your head and onto the board, indicated how important they are in relation to each other and how extensive they actually are. Take a few moments to consider what you have written and see if there's something you want to alter before going ahead with the next step. Now it's time to go from clarity to action. Beginning with the red projects or areas, Write the next step for each project within its circle and write it as a to-do task, that is, detailed and as a sentence with a subject, a predicate and possibly also objects. And do the same thing with the blue and the green circles. And when you're done defining the next step for all areas, transfer the to-do tasks into your system for dealing with to-dos and get started with checking them off one by one. And going from feeling overwhelmed and stressed out by having too many loose ends and balls in the air floating in your mind, you have now made it clear to yourself exactly what needs to be done in each area to move things forward. And you have even determined what and how to prioritize. You have reached clarity, gotten things into gear, and once again you are up to speed. And repeat this whenever you feel the need for it. Do you know more ways to clear things up, to get an overview and get going again whenever you feel overwhelmed by assignments or tasks calling for your attention? Email me your best tips to david at stjernholm.com. I'm a collector of smart techniques and methods and besides from using them myself, I gladly share them with others. That is all for today. I wish you a productive and enjoyable week until next Monday when we're back with a new edition of Done. <laughs>